Dogs are often seen as man's best friend, but not all breeds are created equal. Based on research, some dogs are considered more dangerous. Dogs are commonly kept as pets, but it's important to remember that they're wolves' descendants. Dogs are animals at the end of the day, despite their domestication. Moreover, a large number of them were bred for aggressive uses like home defense and hunting. It should come as no surprise that 4 million people get bitten by dogs annually. Dogs may have aggression issues if they're not obedience trained or socialized at an early age. They may also tend to bite more if they have little interaction with their owner. Dogs may also exhibit hostility if they have not been spayed or neutered. Some dogs are fiercer when they feel sick, scared, or threatened. Therefore, it's important to play it safe around all dogs. However, it's also important to note those breeds whose temperament leads to more dog attacks and injuries. For this reason, we have compiled a list of the most dangerous dog breeds, taking into account both the breeds that bite the most frequently and the breeds that are associated with the greatest number of fatal attacks. Number 10 is the Alaskan Malamute. The Alaskan Malamute bears a remarkable resemblance to the Siberian Husky. The main distinction is the size of the Alaskan Malamute compared to its wolf-life counterparts. This large breed of dog was initially bred for use in the Arctic for hunting and work. These dogs are large and strong. They can weigh nearly 90 pounds and measure 26 inches. They are powerful, aggressive, and strong dogs that, in the wrong hands, could be extremely dangerous. Like many other large breeds, Malamutes need early and constant socialization and training. They might display behavioral issues if they are not trained properly. This is frequently the source of all aggressive actions. Families with young children or those who are new to owning dogs are not advised. Due to their high energy levels, these dogs need to be regularly exercised and given mental stimulation in order to be happy and healthy. They might become agitated and behave badly if they don't have appropriate outlets for their energy. Malamutes have a tendency to defend their families, which could be mistaken for hostility. As a matter of fact, a lot of pet owners appreciate this feature. A Malamute will often exhibit increased aggression if it has experienced maltreatment or had a negative encounter in a rescue shelter. Because of this, kindness and socialization will stop this dog from acting aggressively toward people. The Alaskan Malamute, despite only having caused four deaths, remains on the list of dangerous dogs due to its strong bite and willingness to use it against others. Number 9 is the Doberman Pinscher. The distinctive silhouette of the Doberman Pinscher can be readily recognized by its straight back, cropped ears, and alert expression. Aside from German Shepherds, these animals have served as guard dogs for so long that the position has come to be associated with them. The name Pinscher is derived from a German phrase that describes their propensity to attack and bite prey. Another breed that was developed over many generations to become the ideal attack dog is this one. It should come as no surprise that they pose a serious threat. The dog is thought to have had the strongest bite ever recorded. It is said to possess an attack bite that can exert 600 pounds of pressure, making it a dangerous opponent. At the time of the study, Dobermans were reported to have caused numerous biting incidents in addition to approximately six deaths. Although the breed does not have as many fatalities as other canines, it is nonetheless dangerous and capable of causing severe injuries. They can weigh up to 80 pounds and are between 2 and 3 feet tall. Like any large and powerful breed, improper training and neglect can lead to behavioral issues in Dobermans. However, these issues are more reflective of the owner's actions than the inherent nature of the breed. Their aggressive nature can be managed through proper training and socialization, making them safe and loving pets. Number 8 is the Boxer. Although they were bred to be working dogs, Boxers have an interesting combination of rugged good looks and an extremely dopey appearance. These canines can weigh up to 80 pounds of muscle and are extremely energetic. Boxers can be very problematic, which makes sense when you consider their protective demeanor and physical prowess. Boxers require consistent training and socialization from a young age. They have a natural protective instinct, but this should not be mistaken for aggression. This instinct can be well managed and harnessed through proper training. Although they haven't killed many people recently, only seven, boxers also tend to bite people without harm. You ought to acquire this breed only if you're experienced with handling and training dogs, just like with other risky varieties. Boxers are intelligent and eager to please, making them relatively easy to train. 
Their intelligence and high energy levels make them great candidates for various dog sports and activities. The responsibility lies with the owners to provide adequate socialization, training, exercise, and a loving home environment for their boxers. Number 7 is Wolf Hybrid. Wolves are typically thought of as vicious, dangerous animals. However, did you know that hybrids of wolves exist? A wolf hybrid is a cross between a wild wolf and a domestic dog. Despite their adorable and cuddly appearance, these animals can be dangerous. The fact that the wolf hybrid is difficult to train and manage is what makes it dangerous. Because of this, having the dog around people, especially kids, can be dangerous. Moreover, because of their somewhat wild nature, they may be challenging to capture if they escape from their property. Any animal that hasn't been completely tamed can be dangerous or a threat to people. It's also important to be aware of some of the myths and facts surrounding the dog. For example, it's a myth that this type of dog is a good guard dog. Because a wolf's true nature is shy, they usually do not fare well as protection dogs. Their aggressive tendencies often stem from fear, which makes them unpredictable, if not hard to control. They also are more prone to infectious diseases, which can compound a dog bite injury. In fact, there are some questions about the efficacy of certain dog vaccines and some wolf hybrids. Also, don't believe the myth that a wolf hybrid is a Malamute or Husky. Malamutes and Huskies are separate dog breeds. Number 6 is the Siberian Huskies. Siberian Huskies are valued for their wolf-like looks. You shouldn't be too surprised to find out that dogs sharing looks with wild animals behave a little like them. Huskies were used as sled dogs in the coldest reaches of Canada and the United States. Although they weigh only 60 pounds, they're strong for their size and very independent animals. These dogs are highly motivated by catching prey. Most animals that are smaller than them, including humans, can look like prey to them. In this case, it's their instincts for survival that get them in the most trouble. Huskies were responsible for 3% of all fatal attacks in the study we've cited. Although these animals are friendly most of the time, they have been known to attack children and adults that challenge them even with no history of aggression. Number 5 is the Bull Mastiff. The Bull Mastiff breed is devoted, vigilant, and fearless, which is why people like having them as pets. Although they will defend your house and yard, they may not be fond of strangers, and this behavior needs to be reined in early on to avoid attacks. Bull Mastiff attacks are not common, but when they do occur, the damage they cause to people or other animals is significant due to their size. They can weigh up to 130 pounds and have a maximum height of 27 inches. Over the course of the study's 13 years, these dogs were implicated in just 14 fatal attacks, or 3.2% of all attacks. But when you take into account the animal's relative rarity in the U.S., it's a sign that the dog is dangerous. Number 4 is the American Bulldog. In contrast to its British counterparts, it is still a strong working dog that hasn't been overbred to the point of futility. These dogs can gain a lot of muscle and weigh more than 100 pounds, standing just under 30 inches tall. When they attack, these powerful, thick dogs can be extremely dangerous. Over the course of the 13-year study, 15 fatalities, or roughly 3.5% of all attacks, were caused by American Bulldogs. Even though it's a small number, it's noteworthy because this breed isn't often mentioned with some of the other dangerous canines. Unquestionably, this breed is capable of jumping both high and hard enough to flatten an adult on its back and has a strong bite. Number 3 is the German Shepherd. German Shepherds are one of the most popular dog breeds in the world, and they're also one of the most dangerous. The dogs were originally bred for herding and guarding sheep, but they're now often used as police dogs, guard dogs, and service animals. German Shepherds are large, strong dogs with a lot of energy, and they can be very aggressive if not properly trained and socialized. If a dog owner owns a snappy chihuahua, its bite can cause damage but is not as pronounced as that of a German Shepherd. A German Shepherd's bite strength can be very serious, sufficient enough to break a bone or rupture a blood vessel, causing a person to bleed to death. As a result, they have been involved in 20 fatal dog bite incidents, roughly 5% of all dog bite deaths, as well as countless non-fatal ones. The breed, which is possessive and territorial, may attack if it feels someone is invading its space or if it receives unwanted guests. To ensure the dog is more compliant, a dog owner should train the dog when it is a puppy. 
The earlier they begin, the better. Socialization is an important component of the dog's training. While the dog may feel threatened, it will be less dangerous. Also, it is important to note that German Shepherds, who are older, may experience more aggression because of old age. If they're hurting, they're more likely to become irritable and bite someone out of fear or pain. Number 2 is the Rottweilers. Prior to the public's awareness of pit bulls as extremely dangerous animals, Rottweilers were frequently regarded as the most dangerous dog breed globally. These dogs can weigh 120 pounds or more and reach a maximum height of 25 inches without losing health. They are large framed animals with a temperament that can become ill at times. In particular, the dog will develop a strong sense of loyalty and protection for the people who live in its home, but not for outsiders. Being strong, devoted, and protective, Rottweilers can be dangerous when they attack intruders. Rottweilers are not dangerous to the family, but when they defend their owners, they often act very aggressively. The Rottweiler was the cause of 45 fatal attacks in the same time frame that we talked about with the pit bull that makes up 10% of all the fatal attacks that occurred in the U.S. during that time. Not to mention, Rottweilers are expert at using their terrifyingly strong bite. At number one, we have the pit bull. In the United States and around the world, the American Pit Bull Terrier is regarded as one of the most dangerous dog breeds. They are a vicious breed with a history of attacking and killing people. They are also incredibly powerful dogs that have no trouble overwhelming any obstacle in their path. According to the aforementioned study, over a period of 13 years, the pit bull was responsible for 284 deaths, roughly two-thirds of all fatal dog attacks in the United States. That is a rather discouraging statistic when one considers that only 6% of all dogs in the United States are pit bulls. They were bred to be dangerous for generations as hunting dogs and fighting dogs, so it is no surprise these dogs continue to be a threat to this day. Pit bulls' enormous bodies, they can weigh up to 80 pounds, powerful jaws, and excellent killing instincts are additional reasons why they are the most dangerous dog breed. A pit bull is an invincible opponent for both humans and other animals. Many people, however, who own devoted pit bulls as pets, maintain that these animals are just a reflection of their upbringing. Based purely on the number of people they have killed and the frequency of their attacks, these tin dog breeds are the most dangerous ones available. In addition to their actual behavior, they pose a threat because of their capacity for potentially serious injury. It is difficult for a dog to ignore their instincts, even though you can train them to be helpful and kind in your home. A dog's tendency to bite you may also depend on other factors. Even though the dog breeds on this list are sufficiently dangerous for their owners to take extra caution, they are still appropriate to own. Every dog is different, and those raised in proper settings and not subjected to prying children or other pets have a good chance at remaining peaceful throughout their lives. Which other breed do you think belongs in this list? Comment down below. Thank you watching. Please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.